Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Commissioner of Police Dimapu has said that a written FIR was received at Women Police Station Dimapu on July 25, stating that a group of four to five unknown miscreants in a vehicle abducted, assaulted and robbed two persons, including a woman, at a four-lane highway under Shaopa village in Newland district while returning home in a vehicle after dropping a relative. Accordingly, a case was registered on the women police station. Police said that the assailants had blindfolded them and forcefully took the victims to an unknown location where the victims were not only robbed of their cash and belongings, but preliminary investigation of the victims revealed that the lady victim was physically and sexually assaulted. Based on the investigation and the digital footprints recovered, police said a covered operation was conducted while a team located one of the suspected prime accused at Dukuga village, while another suspected prime accused, Mugavi Yepto, was seen fleeing in a motorbike, which resulted in a hot pursuit. During the chase, the officers who were operating undercover in a private vehicle identified themselves as police and repeatedly warned the suspect to stop, but he did not pay heed, and in the process the bike skidded and fell on the road. Police said the speeding vehicle in hot pursuit could not stop instantly and slightly ran over the bike, which ultimately crashed on the right side of the road into a drainage. Police clarified that immediately after the incident, the injured suspect was rushed to Raffle Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. In this connection, a case has been registered in Newland PS. Police said, adding that in order to ensure fair and impartial investigation, police personnel involved in the hot pursuit have been placed under suspension. The Union Ministry of Defence and National Stock Exchange of India Limited yesterday signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, to facilitate capital market access to the micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs. The MOU was signed by the Additional Secretary, Department of Defence Production and Managing Director, NSE, in the presence of Defence Secretary, Giritar Armani. The MOU intends to facilitate MSMEs in the defence sector to raise productive capital for their growth plan in an efficient and transparent manner through the NSE platform NSE Emerge. The platform offers new and viable options for raising equity capital from a diversified set of investors. The Ministry of Defence said that the MOU will be in force for a period of five years. Around 11.78 crore additional rural households have been provided with tap water connections so far in the country. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha yesterday, Minister of State for Jal Shakti V. Somana stated that as of the 25th of this month, out of 19.32 crore rural households, around 15.01 crore households spread across 5.79 lakh villages in the country have been reported to have tap water supply in their homes. The minister also said around 2.30 lakh villages have achieved 100% coverage of tap water supply under Har Kar Jal. Union Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Shopa Karant Laje, yesterday informed the Lok Sabha that over 29.82 crore unorganised workers have registered on eShram portal till 22nd of this month. In a written reply, she said the centre had launched eShram portal in August 2021 for the creation of a comprehensive national database of unorganised workers verified and seeded with ATAR. The minister said eShram portal is meant to register and support the unorganised workers by providing them with a universal account number and eShram cards. She said the government has taken several steps for awareness and to expedite the registration of unorganised workers on the eShram portal. The government said that 7,218 smart city projects out of a total of 8,016 projects have been completed in the 100 smart cities of the country so far. 
Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs Dukan Sahu, in a written reply in the Rajya Sabha yesterday, said the value of the completed projects has amounted to over 1 lakh 45,000 crore rupees. The minister also informed that the period of implementation of the Smart City Mission has been extended up to 31st of March 2025 for all smart cities. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.